What's up guys? It is the end of October and we are standing on Judy Gaskell's bridge. What does that mean? Probably nothing to you, but for me it means we're going to be hiking segment two today of the Colorado Trail. For a full hike review and more information about segment two of the Colorado Trail, go ahead and check that link below. So, uh, to catch up with my previous series, if you haven't seen the first segment, go ahead and watch that. But my wife and I are going to be segmenting hiking the Colorado Trail here over the next couple of years. Uh, obviously, there's some snow here lingering, uh, and we're hoping it won't be a huge issue today since we're committing to about 24 miles of hiking. Uh, originally, we were going to try to backpack this overnight, uh, but because of the weather that's rolling in super early tomorrow morning, we just thought it would be a it's kind of a stupid idea to have to deal with that. So we're just gonna soldier through. So it's gonna be a very long day and I'll show you everything along the way and I'll make sure to be very clear about where segment two ends and where segment three begins. So a quick note, segment two, the first 10 miles after this point right here, um, there's not a good water source. So really segment two in general has not a lot of water. So be sure if you're through hiking or if you're just day hiking to have a plenty of water with you. Um, so segment two is gonna work through a lot of fire burn from the Buffalo Creek fire of I think 98, something like that. We have a special guest today, Hi. Juno, and she's pooping. Segment two of the Colorado Trail is 11.5 miles and about 2,400 feet of elevation gain. Segment two starts with a nice little climb out of uh, the South Platte River Canyon down there and uh, gets you up to the higher ground. So I would say a pretty good chunk of that 2,400 feet elevation gain is really gonna be right off the bat here. About 400 feet of climbing out of that little gully there and just beautiful up here now. For those of you looking for a sick ass campsite right there, obviously that'd probably be for segment one hikers looking to get something early on in segment two, but talk about the views here. Pretty key note about segment two is that this fire has basically burned everything around us here. So obviously we're hiking late fall, but if you plan on through hiking this or hiking this really any time of year, protection from the sun is really key. And if you're hiking this in the summer, it's gonna be really hot. So. It stinks that you can't have water sources along the way, but you're gonna need a lot of water here. Just over five miles in here, you can see how expansive this burn was. So far we've gained just over 1800 feet of elevation in the five miles. So theoretically the second half of this segment number two will be less elevation gain. Pretty exciting. This is our first road crossing of the Colorado Trail. Uh, as you can see, very well marked, it just continues right over this way beautiful views here there is pike's peak right there just really nice out just about 7.5 miles in and we're still in this burn area so just really goes to show you how big it was Huge, huge fire. All 
right, nearing the end of uh, segment two here. There's some buildings up here. The road that we're gonna cross eventually goes like right there. I'll show you the end of this segment once we're there, obviously, but just a couple of quick notes. Like, yeah, this is super, super exposed to the sun because of the burn. There's like pockets of trees, but really you're hiking in the open. So be sure to have sunscreen, hat, and if you're doing this in the summer, man, start early so you're not dealing with those afternoon hot, hot hours of the day. Just have lots of water. If you have a dog, lots of water for him or her as well. Really, in terms of elevation gain, once you pass like that road I showed you, things mellow out a bit. Um, and we've just kind of been on steady, small rollers. So most of the elevation gain on this segment too is in the first half. Near uh, the road now, I stand corrected. So once we get to the road, we're gonna take a left and follow it for a bit and then cross over. And then we have another mile or so, and that's where segment Number two ends. So as I mentioned, water is scarce on this segment. This right here is a firehouse. Uh, it's to be used for, as they say, emergencies only. So reading in between the lines there, I would imagine that that means like probably frowned upon to use it. But if you really, really need water, that's your only source for quite a bit more time. Okay, once you're at this junction here, there's a sign. You basically continue there. And it's funny, you probably can't make it up, but there's a road sign. So literally our crossing is gonna be farther up there. We just made our last road crossing of segment two. Okay, so once you reach here, segment two continues up a little bit here and there's a full parking lot uh, that officially marks the end of this segment and the start of segment number three. All right, that wraps up segment number two, the Colorado Trail. So the last uh, mile or so, um, it's basically just hiking on like a forest road and yeah, that was pretty boring, but overall segment two, pretty good. Definitely better than segment one, which is nice. Um, there are bathrooms here and if you are segment hiking, uh, segment two and you're going to leave your car here, this is a fee area. So there's like a $5 fee to park your car at segment two, uh, at the end of it. Segment number three starts just to my right over here and that'll wrap up the video on colorado trail segment number two for a full hike review and more information about segment numero dos of the colorado trail go ahead and check the link below please subscribe not to miss any future hike videos and we'll see you next time on segment number three of the colorado trail